Okay, I'm back with another project that I completed. And let me get this zoomed out enough. This is gonna be hard to video, but anyways, this is a chipboard mini album that I purchased from Saw Crafters. Um, I will put the link to her store down below, but I'm sure you all know. And um, anyways, this is the dresser mini album. And I just stinking love the way this turned out. And I used, I don't really do these um, types of mini albums, the frame, but I just had to do this one because it is just super, super cute. Um, the paper collection that I used with this was the Lemon Craft, and I used two of them. And I don't remember the name, but you'll recognize it. And I did get that from Archana's CraftyCity.com a while back, and this was the first that I've used to create it. So very shabby chic. Um, in this in this front part here I did all right stop I did um, this is just silver paper that you can buy in the loose paper section cardstock section at Michaels and it kind of looks like a mirror these are the from the collection that came with the collection these little buttons um, these are just a mixture of flowers that I've purchased in my stash recollections uh, wild orchid crafts Oh, uh, yeah, just a mixture. Um, these little perfume bottles, these are the wood chip pieces that I got from Saw Crafters, and they come in a little package, and they're all different style perfume bottles. And I just put glue and glitter glass and cut out pieces of the paper. Actually, these little pieces are from Esme's um, Craft, Crafty Me Tilda on Facebook, and I cut these out of the little papers that I got from her and I'll show you more of the tickets inside the album. I just used a crackle finish. I crackle painted the drawers and on the drawer I bumped it out. I used hard chipboard and I just cut little strips so the drawer looks like it's open and you can see from the side. And I tucked a little doily that I had got from Barb's shop a while back, her old Etsy store. I don't think she carries these anymore but they're really, this is part of it too. The doilies on the top and I don't think those are available anymore so I'm sorry about that but I had bought a whole mess of them a while back probably a year ago and on this little flower piece I just used embroidery floss to tie the bows but I just uh, used clear embossing powder I gessoed them and then used clear embossing powder real thick and it gave it that cool bubbly glass look and then I glued the little circle that I cut out from Esme's collection of really cool stuff. I have a video on what I purchased from her store. Okay and then on the bottom I just glued this little lace. You can see the little legs of the dresser underneath there and on the side I bound it and I just tied all kinds of lace and ribbon and eyelash trim and everything else. So let me take you on the inside it's going to be hard because it's floppy but here's the first two pages and I'll start with this page uh, it's going to be difficult these little pieces here are from the um, from Esme shop as well and I just made those as little journaling cards aren't those beautiful it's a high heel shoe and I cut those out they're little ATC sized images that she has. This um, fold, this opens up and this opens. Of course it's going to be hard to do because yeah okay there. So that's the back side so it will open like that so you can put photos or whatever um, in there. And I made my own little clip to hold it and then those tuck right back in there. Um, and then on the bottom here, this is, well, you undo this, you untie this, and it opens up for photos. So you can place your photos, so it's like a booklet. And then it closes up, and then it'll tie back up, but I can't do it one-handed, so I'll have to do it off camera. Then we have this page, and on the bottom I use the same lace trim that I probably got from Joann's or something on a spool a long time ago. This um, 
I don't even remember where I got this image, but I have a bunch of them. A long, it's been years, it's been in my stash, so. But it does slide out, this slides up. I just put it in there for to be pretty now because you can slide a picture down in this frame. And this frame is just from the Michaels dollar bin. And this is one of the Michaels wood, wood um, pieces. This cutout is from Esme's Tilda Shop. And this opens to put a photo here and a photo here. And that is magnetized. So that's that page. And then we have this page, which I kept it a little more simple. You can see on the top I have more of the, the uh, I don't know what you call these. They're like a, um, they look like pins, but they're not. I did perfect pearls inside this lace trim that I cut up. Um, and there's a close-up. So this is a big pocket, and I put another one of those in there. This pulls out, and I made a little photo booklet. And this is a stamp that I've had for a very long time of a corset. And I thought how appropriate for a dresser. And I used perfect pearls to fill in all the little dots. And then this just opens up like that to put photos in and it's only two. I embossed with an embossing folder, white cardstock to give it that, you know, lacy feeling. And then here's a nice size photo mat. This actually is a piece of Tilda paper from one of the Tilda collections because I ran out of paper and I thought it matched perfectly. So I didn't use much of it, just one piece of that paper. So I thought that's a nice photo mat. And like I said, that's a great pocket. And I didn't want to embellish too much because the paper is gorgeous itself. It's so hard to choose what to cover up because it's all so pretty. So that goes in there. And then this side is a waterfall. And again, I used a piece of the, that border applique trim that I got from Barb um, Kelly Craft Supplies. Kelly Craft Supplies on Etsy, but that was a long time ago, so I know she doesn't have these anymore, but you can contact her maybe and see if she can get more if you're interested. This velvet uh, trim is from um, Stay True to God on, I believe it's Etsy. And she has a wonderful um, bunch of little embellishments and stuff in this gorgeous trim. And it, like I said again, that's from Stay True to God. I got a, a tan one too. So I used that. I thought it was perfect. This is magnetized to hold it down. And so then these just flip up. I left the backs plain for still you could photo or just journal or leave the paper collection showing and put your photos on the back, whatever you want. So that all flips up. So pretty. Love this collection. For all you shabby chic lovers. So that's that and that closes back down. And then this opens to this page and I left this one very simple because, you know, I try to do some simpleness to enjoy the collection and then embellish every other. But this is just uh, Martha Stewart punches that I layered the paper for a pocket. And here's more photo tags. Look how pretty that is. I love this paper. The backs are blank. And then here's a five by seven. And then there's what that looks like plain. And just tuck these in like this. All right, to this page I love. This is um, that wired trim that has wire in it. I don't know where I got it, I've had it forever. I used seam binding that I made with my bow at all. I glued all these flat back pearls on that I actually got from Saw Crafters when she was doing a clearance a while back. And I glued them all on into the centers and it just turned out really cute because I needed a big pocket for this page because I made a big photo book which is here and it's pretty thick and heavy. Let me set this down so I can show you. Okay, so this is pretty thick and it's magnetized it itself and I just left the paper collection like that. So you open this up and these are magnetized. I left the backs blank. This is a piece from Kay and Company that I had because I just needed more paper to fill this in. 
and I had this one piece of paper and it just matched perfectly so and this was from the cane company too so so there it goes like that and the other side is exactly the same lifts up whoops and there and then that folds out and this is big enough for a five by seven so and there's the back so yeah it's pretty thick and it slides right back into this pocket very nicely and then um, okay so then this page we have there's the whole spread but then this this is more from Esme's crafty me tilde um, I cut it out I fussy cut that out and these postcards this is from the paper collection, and um, this is just trim that I had in my stash. That's really not a pocket, but this is a pocket, and you can stuff photos or notes or anything you want down there. This is seam binding, so you untie this, and I traced the shape of the mirror, and then that opens up to place photos. Like that. Okay, and then the very last page is another um, photo booklet style again I used more of that trim and stay true to God velvet ribbon I love this it already comes crinkled and it's gorgeous this is a magnet that snaps down to hold this down and you just lift that up and open this up for photos look at how pretty I just love it so there you go this did I leave a pocket open? No, I didn't. Okay, so then that holds it down. And then the back is just part of the paper collection. I fussy cutted some of the paper out. And I will have a little label here with like a nameplate that you can title it if you wish. So, I hope you like it. There's the edging. And there it is. I'll have still pictures at the end of the video for you to look at and um there it is i hope you like it leave me a comment let me know what you like please subscribe if you want to see more of these projects and i already have some in my head that are going to be in the making for next week um once again this album will be for sale i'm going to have it um i offer it to you first and then it'll go in my etsy shop by this weekend if you're interested in purchasing this remember christmas time's coming um but if you're interested in purchasing this you can send me an email and I'll get back to you on what the price is and the shipping and all that. And um, I'll leave my email down in the description box. And I hope you, you like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.